Madame and Monsieur, post production me here. Welcome to Ultima Dark World Dreadnoughts. Today we will be having a very short episode, and my sincere apologies about that. Sadly, the content that was created just wasn't up to scratch, and I just had to scrap a lot of it. So, yeah, small one today. I'll make it up to you in a few days with a bigger episode. Enjoy! Madame et Monsieur, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where today we shall be continuing our French campaign. Last time we had some very acceptable battles in the Mediterranean, and we ended off with a lovely war against the United Kingdom, and we eliminated like... 40% uh, of the British fleet in a single battle. Maybe a bit less, I'm not quite sure anymore. Some of my ships have been damaged as a result, but I am confident that whatever I have left will be more than enough to deal with the first turn. I do not want a war with the Italians right now. Not with half my fleet in dry dock. Um, yeah, I suppose I have to fight this. 20 knots, 22, 22, 22, and 22 knots. Hmm. This will actually be pretty annoying to catch, so... I guess I will pause the recording, and I'll be back if something happens. I am not quite sure it will. Well. All I can say to that is, surprise, they actually came at me. Um, I have the strange feeling, considering the amount of ships they have, that that was a very bad idea. They did 2k damage. How dare they? Five ships gone. 4,400 victory points. Very good. And... <laughs> oh... The English Channel, Western Mediterranean, they're losing a lot of transports. Four meetings. Ouch. We're blockading the British. <laughs> okay, four cruisers. Well, three cruisers and a torpedo boat. Let's roll the dice. <laughs> Bad roll, man. Bad roll. Remember, kids, don't auto-resolve. Ever. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Let's see. Yeah, one torpedo boat has been damaged. How many tons does that Italian torpedo boat have? And that French one? 571.8783 tons. What? <laughs> this guy. This guy has a very weird tonnage. <laughs> weird, people. Weird. But they're dead, so... Yeah. Heavy damage on one of my torpedo boats. Is acceptable. A light cruiser, 21.7 knots. I know I shouldn't. <laughs> low. low crew. Ouch. Mm. Now this is a fight that I am interested in. A fairly fair fight, so that means I will win without any issues. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have engaged the enemy. Enemy cruisers are charging me. I'm going straight ahead. Right into their formation. I am not afraid. I am not afraid, I tell you. Heavy cruisers? I am a bit worried, though. <laughs> oh, crap. That guy still has its... Oh, thank God. I was going to say that guy still has its torpedoes, but... No longer. That problem has been solved. 
In that case, I can start switching my heavy cruisers to the enemy cruisers as my torpedo boats engaged an enemy torpedo. I'm just going to charge at. I want to see what happens, you know. Who needs control over ships, man? Just straight ahead. Don't care. Just keep moving. Giving orders is for the weak. You just set up your fleet and charge. In proper French fashion. Now, this heavy cruiser might get torpedoed. Unless we blow her up before the torpedo launches. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Good. Light cruiser, next. <laughs> Boom! Okay, job done. <laughs> uh, okay, that was funny. It also shows I'm vastly superior to the enemy. If I don't even need to give orders, then yeah. Now, finally, a fight worth fighting. As long as I don't get torpedoed straight away, I should be fine. Five times speed. We have engaged the enemy. Light cruiser. Um, okay, let's turn to the side. And I want all guns on that ship. Go straight. In between the enemy formation. Now, you should be finishing off your first ship, otherwise we'll get into some issues. Give me a very small 3 degrees right rudder. Torpedo boat has been sunk. Well. Essentially, she just doesn't realize it yet. So let's put some fire on the enemy heavy cruiser here. Although, secondaries on the light cruiser here. Boom! And we scored our hit on our light cruiser. Very good, very good. Oh! She is done for. Good, 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 good. My three degrees right rudder is still going. And that is good. Because the enemy late cruiser Intrepid is closing in on me. Stand by for evasive maneuvers. Stand by. Stand by. You have forward-firing torpedoes, don't you? No. It was side-mounted. Damn it. Two of them? Turn, 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 turn. We gotta dodge the second one at least. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Only minor damage. In exchange for a light cruiser. Uh, I should have checked if they had forward or side-mounted torpedo launchers, but... They do have forward a forward launcher. Yeah, all sides. Why didn't it fire earlier then? Huh. No matter, no matter. One torpedo hit is acceptable. Um, it's annoying that it's hit my engine, but we can work with this. She will slow down a lot when she turns, so... These ships are, well, not made for slow, for turning, really. Not made for slowing down, either. Let's get back up to 12 knots. Sadly, that is the fastest we can do with one engine out. Fairly frustrating, but... Oh, we have a flooding. 
Let's see what is causing the main issue. Enemy 4 inch guns. So it's the secondaries of the Nottingham. Main guns of the Glasgow. Secondaries of the Champion that are causing the main problems right now. The Ariadne with her 3 inch guns. And her 7 inchers. Yeah, not a big threat. Still, she is fairly close, so let's target her for a bit. Okay, looking good, looking good. Enemy cruiser is reforming with the others. Yeah, this battle is pretty much over. Well, it's not over. Let's let's be honest, they can they can oh. win. These Bye. One damaged torpedo boat runs away. Five thousand victory points. A acceptable victory, I'd say. The French the Quata? The Italians declared war on us. The Italians joined the British? Surely not. Yes, sir, they are in an alliance. So, the United Kingdom has called the Italians in. Well. Well now. What shall we do? What shall we do? Oh, I know. Send out my Mediterranean fleet to crush them. Block off some primary ports. Why won't you move there? Yoink. Get going. Um, you guys can stay there. A convoy. A British convoy. Um, let's quickly see the recording time. 30 minutes. Well, I guess we could. But first... Off. Let's check the um, status of my ships. I am, after all, a bit worried. I do not think there is any reason for me to be worried, especially seeing more and more ships are being fixed up. Still... Let's build some more light cruisers. Crew training. We still have a very small crew pool. That is annoying. But we'll manage. Research. Four months. Yeah, four months is fine. So. A quick convoy battle. It's a fairly small heavy cruiser though. Maybe I should get rid of them. Get rid of the smaller heavy cruisers and build more modern big ones. Oh, enemy engines are down. Perfect. That direction, please. <laughs> oh, you're a six-incher. Yes, very good, very good indeed. And... One ship, where only the people in the second engine room will probably not be entirely seasick, but the rest of the crew? Oh my. Now, let's take a look. HE ammo, please. We have engaged the enemy. Torpedo boat, dodge. Heavy cruiser. Pound the enemy into oblivion. Destroy my enemies. And a torpedo boat, fire. Torpedo is away. 
Good, 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 good. Very good. It's looking acceptable, yes. Looking very good. We're gonna have a hit. And perfect! Well done, torpedo boat. You also found the convoy. Colbert, please shoot that damaged ship. I was too focused on the torpedo boat. This is not smart. Not smart indeed. Guns, do your thing. At this range, you cannot miss. Except for my six inchers, that missed. <laughs> my torpedo boat with her three inch guns. All right. A lot of three inch guns. Has sunk the first transport. Good. Target the second one. While my cruiser deals with the enemy escort ships. Subtle. Very subtle. Uh, torpedo boat, how's it going? Well, I can't say I'm impressed. Close in, prepare for a torpedo attack on the second ship. Enemy transports are just scattering in all directions right now. We have a group going that way and a group running straight into my heavy cruiser. Poor bastards. My six inch guns have been ordered to destroy them. While my torpedo boat is launching a torpedo at a very bad angle. Now, all guns of this heavy cruiser that should finish her off. And that should finish her off as well. And we have a torpedo hit. Very good, very good, very good. See, there go the first transports. Those poor transports never stood a chance to begin with. And that is how I should utilize my torpedo boats. Okay, we got some flooding. Even more flooding. And that transport is gone. Gone for good. Um, what are you shooting at? A transport. I mean, sure, I've nothing better to shoot at right now. Oh, a good flooding. One more flooding in the bow, please, and she would be done for. Flooding in the bow? Yeah, she should be sinking now. There is no way she can survive. No way whatsoever. And torpedo boat. Don't ram her. Please. Full reverse. Heavy cruiser. And that is how you finish off a convoy with only two ships, I suppose. We have an enemy light cruiser in this direction. We're going to finish her off. Haven't seen the enemy heavy cruiser for a bit, but maybe the enemy light cruiser is near her. Yeah, 
Yeah, she's damaged. And running. Hmm. Okay, there's now a heavy cruiser. It's a, a torpedo boat and a light cruiser. And not as I was thinking just now, a light cruiser and a heavy cruiser. A failure on the uh, icon recognition on my part there. It's a boat. go. Six inches. Come on. Shoot her. There we go. That wasn't so hard. Now was it? Torpedo boat come about. Eighteen percent floatability. 9k damage done on her and she is gone and with that this battle comes to an end and with that ladies and gentlemen also comes an end to this episode the british fleet is down to 25 ships the italians have 31 ships next turn we will engage the italians in the mediterranean for sure and maybe even in the atlantic as Italian ships are moving there. The British have not really been lucky in this regard. Um, their fleets have been massacred. And, well, the Italian support, what can I say? Too little, too late. Let's deploy some of my warships. Here, there and everywhere. To make sure not a single enemy will bother me ever again. There. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you all a fond farewell and au revoir.